Hello there everyone, Ashen Flash here, and welcome on into a early review for the brand new LEGO Marvel set, set number 76249. This is the Venomized Groot set. It will be retailing for $49.99 USD or $64.99 Canadian. It has a total of 630 pieces, and somehow all of that combined is making it $5 less than the other Groot, the baby Groot, which I did a separate review of, but we're actually going to do a comparison here in this video looking at that because it's important since one of the versions of Groot that you'll see is like covered in the symbiote. Yes, symbiote, symbiote, however you want to say it, the way I say it's more fun. Anyways, we're going to look at that. Also, if you want to check out the fully venomized version, there's a time code for that too. So hop around if you want to in this video. Let's go ahead. Let's take a closer look at this set. So here is the Venomized Groot, and it's really cool. I think that when we first heard about this, I was like, oh, really? And honestly, like, I love this set. It just should have been, like, a year delayed or something, not year, for, like, back-to-back. -back. But it's still really awesome. Um, You're going to see, like, like I've said before, a comparison to see how close it is in terms of the builds. But uh, I think structurally, this one is a lot better um, and more stable. I'm not sure what... There you go. I'm not sure exactly what it can and can't do. This is sort of the first time that I'm playing around with this, but it is a little bit more heavy since it does have the little tentacle, like, saplings, I guess, and everything coming out of uh, its leg. I don't think I can balance it on that one. It's a little heavy there. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on here. The head, it doesn't rotate too, too much there, I think, like the last one. But, uh, yeah, there's still a lot you can do with the arms and the tentacles and everything here. You can all move around. I want to start with my favorite bit here, and that is the head. I think they did a great job um, getting the shaping from last year and, uh, you know, having it also a little bit tiled off here in terms of, like, half black, a little bit of symbiote coming through there on the top. I think that looks awesome. I like the brick-built Venom eye. I think that's really cool instead of it having... Uh, it, it be a print I think that's cool or a sticker but this looks great with the teeth and everything there as well as uh the the eye dish that's really cool I think that's the same as the other one we'll see when we look at it but uh spinning it around here on the back you do have one sticker there but you've got a little bit of light green sticking out here on the right side also oh I forgot to mention this the tongue can actually spin and turn all the way around also, just to show you from above what it looks like here, I think that's really cool with, like, the little symbiote goo, like, and all the tentacles and tendrils coming out there. I think that's really cool looking. And speaking of, like, the tendrils and tentacles and everything, we've got these creepy little plants coming out of the, the back of Groot. That's really cool. I love the use of, like, the mech fingers there for sort of, like, a little bit... It, it reminds me of, like, a little bit of, like, uh, like a leaf or something. I think that's cool. Um, but just the hot pink there, it is a little fragile... But uh, the hot pink and everything just looks really, really cool in how you can close it on up. It's the same build all three times there for each of the spots where there's these uh, little plants. But spinning around here to show you what it looks like here on the back. You've got the two spots and you can sort of angle it around up and down and side to side there as well on the back. I'm removing this here. I didn't fully remove it. But, oh, you can detach the whole back, I guess. Um, you've got a spot there with a sticker on the back. Also, the arm, you've got a little bit of, like, a whip there for, like, some different vines and roots growing on this. And then you've got a sticker there, as well as a sticker on the arm. Over here on this side, you've got some, like, teeth pieces for some spikes. I think that's really cool. As well as you've got this little joint that you can angle around again as well. And uh, I love the giant like claw here it looks like almost like the venom buildable figure hand i think that's really cool i'm not sure if that was intentional uh the waist can actually turn and snap and uh, you've got a little bit of uh, some stickers there again some like tree bark covered in the symbiote i think that's really cool i said it wrong that time didn't i anyways here down below i really like again just how they're covering up some of the wood leaving some of the wood behind some green behind i think that's really cool to see and down below, the feet can actually open up a little bit there. And you've also got, um, again, instead of there being like the brown whip, it's actually in black to show that like some of the, the roots and the vines are all covered in this symbiote. And you've got a little bit of this piece here and a little bit of like the other horn pieces to add to like the dripping effect. I think it's really well done. And uh, this is what the feet look like from underneath there. 
All right, so I'm going to show you here how to venomize Groot. Um, it's quite interesting. Literally on the first, well, I guess it's the third page, fourth, it says at the bottom. Anyways, it says here, if you look, so to build the one that you see on the cover, you use bags one through four, and then you use the instructions. But to do the fully venomized one, the regular Venom Groot, you need to use the app and a fifth bag. So I don't like that i don't like the fact that there isn't a second set of instructions here to build the regular one because you have a whole sealed fifth bag full of parts and you don't have anything to tell you what to do them for like i get mario you know with those sets the digital instructions but the fact that like this isn't included in any form of instructions like not extra pages not flip to page 100 to do that i don't like that and also i'm gonna have to figure it out myself which using my super mario skills hopefully they'll come in handy here but these are all of the extra parts basically all you're doing is like copying what's on the left side i think and just duplicating it but yeah these are all of the parts here in bag five to completely transform this into fully Venom Groot. Um, also, I just want to say one other thing. There is a two-in-one set, um, the Harry Potter one, um, that I still need to do a review for. But it does have two sets of instructions for the two different builds. So, yeah, technically they're a similar build, but I still think that it's important to include that. So here's the fully Venom version. I, I mean, basically it's just like, yeah, a couple of the parts, like that's a two by three. So it's a little bit different, but basically you just duplicate the right side for a lot of it. Like if you notice here, like underneath the arms in certain spots here, specifically with the legs, uh, the feet are the same. And then um, the head, I kind of had to guess in some spots, like what and how to build some of this. But again, it was basically just taking the regular Groot version and, and making it all black. This arm is actually different than the other arm over here. Um, so yeah, that was very, uh, it was different to build that part of it and disassemble the other part. The chest is interesting because you like sort of just remove all of the wood pieces and then you just replace them with black parts. I had this piece like left over, so I'm pretty sure that's where it goes because there was a little bit of brown showing and nowhere else that I've seen has any brown showing. So I'm pretty sure that's correct build for that. Um, but the legs here, you could see, um, it's just the same sort of build, just reflected and inverted. So non-wooden, but just black. And here's just more of an up-close look at the head. You could see, like, this is a spot here that I sort of had to guess. I just took, like, the wooden build and sort of used all the black parts that I had to create that. But, uh, yeah, the rest of that as well, it's fully black here in the back. And, uh, oh, I didn't point that out there for the back as well, since there was, like, one sliver of wood there. And here's what the top of the head looks like when it's fully all black and symbiotic. Looking at these things side by side, it's a pretty good representation, I think, that they did from last year. I'm looking at, like, some of the details here, like, how they did the eyes. And it's, like, pretty similar to what they did. Even just some of the detailing here on this arm. Like, I'm looking at that and I'm like, I think that's the exact same sticker. So, small little details. The vines on the arms. Um, that's a sticker there on the top. Like, that's that's really cool little attention to detail. Um, and down below, these are all venomized. I, the only thing, I'm just looking at, like, the designs here. Yeah, that's all all gooped up from um, the symbiote. I think that's really cool. Even the chest bit here, how they're, like, covering up. I'm just trying to see if I move the, the tongue a little bit. Look at the lines. You can see the lines on the left one from last year. And then the lines here... I think that's the same design. So that's kind of cool that they're paying attention to that. They did add a little bit of like uh, vines and a little bit of moss underneath the eyes there. But like the eye, that's the same dish piece. Overall, like the whole design of this, it's, it's very similar. I really love that they paid attention to that. The only other difference in terms of the build I'm noticing is the legs. And stability wise, just trying to pose this thing, just the smallest little bit of ac action and movement this thing will actually topple over just because of the weight of everything. But but I guess we should look at the back too, right? You could see here, you've got uh, one sticker there, and then this one's got a little bit of symbiote on it as well. So again, same sticker, just with a little bit of venom gook on it there. But like, look at that from the back. I'm really impressed by how much attention to detail they put into this thing. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Venomized Groot.
Um, I really loved last year's. I think this is a fun little variant of that. Just too soon, but it's still a great set. Even the value, like you're getting so many more pieces for less of a price. That's really impressive. The only thing that I could say that I wish maybe could have been included is I think the Venom version fully blacked out is a little boring. Just like there's no stickers, there's no prints. It's all brick built, which in a way is a cool like accomplishment. But I just think like maybe adding a little bit of something to that um, would have been kind of cool to see. But overall, still really fun build. I, I love building last year's. I love building this one. I think it's really great. And uh, I, I kind of wish there was a Venomized Groot minifigure, but I'm sure they're going to do that at some point for some promo or some advent calendar or something down the line, I'm sure. But be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future LEGO Marvel superhero set news and reviews just like this one. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you will have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.